Hello and the greetings from Iceland. Today we are going to examine a cross section of this eroded volcano cone near the village Grindavík by the south coast of the Reykjanes Peninsula. The mountain is called Festarfjall and in the background we see the mountain Fagradalsfjall which has become quite famous due to the three volcanic eruptions in a 30 month period and the next eruption might be just around the corner so it's a magma on the move yet again. And uh, Festarfjall is most likely a part of the Fagradalsfjall volcano although there is this little valley between them and earthquakes are very common around there. They might originate from a magma dike that fed the eruption in 2021 and for a while it looked as the dike there was going to break its way to the south or under Mount Festarfjall. So it would not come as a surprise if this half eroded volcano would uh, play some part in the next volcanic chapter that seems to be underway now in October 2023. But I will be focusing at the cross section, the south side of the volcano, where Mother Nature has exposed the layers. And let's start with the basics. This is categorized as a Toya mountain, but they are sometimes called uh, flat top volcanoes and they are rare worldwide since they only form uh, under glacier covered areas with active volcanism and uh, the peninsula has many such formations often long ridges from eruptions that didn't make it through the ice so you won't find any lava on top of them but in this case all the ice above the volcano melted meaning that uh, lava could flow freely for a while left the cone with a little lava hat that categorizes it as a toya and uh, in fact it appears as geologists consider this to be a uh, Quite a remarkable phenomenon, since it might have been formed uh, during two glacial periods, and uh, that's where things get a bit complicated. But it is, however, simple to notice the magma intrusion dike there. And legend has it that the mountain's name, Festarfjall, is derived from this dike. Festi means a necklace, and in those old stories, the dike is the necklace. And uh, once upon a time, there was this woman troll that hung this necklace on this volcano and she left instructions for a farmer at a nearby farm. He was to name a baby girl after this troll woman and when the baby girl would be old enough she should walk the beach by the volcano and the silver necklace would drop down and it sounds like a great deal for a huge piece of jewelry. But unfortunately the troll woman forgot to tell the farmer her own name making it very complicated to name a daughter after her, and the necklace, or should you say, the magma dike, is still there, leaving us with the assumption that trolls in the past were terrible in geology. But we were at least left with a fine story, and the ocean did a fine job, eroding the cone, so we could see the inner workings of a volcano. The erosion will however continue, and the earthquakes have also been causing rock slides. Even large chunks have disappeared into the ocean in recent years, and that might continue, so I don't recommend that you go walking on the beach there, especially when we have a magma intrusion underway and a land rise episode like now. And uh, as for all the layers there, I'm actually not the right person to analyze them since I'm not a geologist, but I encourage viewers to share their knowledge in the comment section. And uh, places like this are the reason why I went into photography. It's to ask, uh, what is this thing I'm looking at? Why is it here? And then I have questions like, uh, if trolls do indeed uh, turn into stone, unprotected at dawn, will they turn into basalt or some other type of rock? And uh, finally, I want to remind you of another video that uh, was also recorded around here, a bit further to the east, and uh, I'm linking to it because there you can see similar cross-section, and feel free to come up with similar ideas for the drone. It's a very useful tool, especially when it comes to formations like this, or hard to find and see formations. And with that, I'm sending you best regards from the Volcano Island, Iceland.